YouTube. Today is wash day and I am going to start documenting my transitioning journey. I wish I would have started earlier but I didn't know I was going to transition. So here I am, we're going to say four months, give or take a week, post relaxer. I have already deep conditioned using this. Um, what I like to do is I like to deep condition shampoo then condition. Um, I feel like I get less breakage this way actually and I like the way my conditioner smells way more than like the way my deep conditioner smells. So I deep condition with organic root stimulator, hair mayonnaise, I shampoo with Pantene for women of color, shampoo doesn't really matter. I'm looking for like a sulfate free shampoo but I haven't been able to really find one. So if anybody knows of one, please tell me. And then I let the deep conditioner sit in my hair for over 45 minutes, an hour, because I don't have a um, bonnet dryer or whatever. And now I just put this in my hair, and I'm going to let that also chill in my hair for 45 minutes, an hour. Um, moisturize my hair with organic root stimulator, carrot oil. I just bought a whole bunch of this stuff. Anything that didn't have mineral oil or petroleum in it, I used to use this, Blue Magic. And then, you know, I've been doing research on my hair and stuff, and it's like, oh, petroleum and mineral oil isn't good for your hair. And ingredients in this are petroleum, lanolin, lecithin, mineral oil, fragrance, green six, and violet two. Essentially, there's like nothing good for my hair in this. Because petroleum isn't good and mineral oil isn't good. I mean, there's like nothing in here that's really helping me. And it's like full too, it's like brand new. And not using it. So, but I think my mom and sister will still use that. So, yeah, here I am. I washed it, I twisted the back just to put it away, but I left the front out so you guys can see the growth. Um, so these are my relaxed bits. My hair grows the slowest in the front, fastest towards like the center and the back sides yeah like you can see how right here is really long that part grows the fastest and the front of my hair doesn't grow that fast but four months growth hope you guys can see that Kinda, so these are my roots that's the front the sides um unstretched it's about like an inch like that's all growth and then like sorry if you guys can't really see but like unstretched it's about an inch and if I stretch it out it's like much longer but that is my growth um I don't know if you can see like the hairs at the back of my neck that old like when I was um relaxed those always break off so there's like nothing relaxed back there. So unstretched it's like an inch. Stretched maybe two inches. And like I don't know because I just stretched it, but I, I can see a little like curl going on, you know, 4B ish it looks like. But um I'm excited. Four months. I took pictures too. I don't think I'll put them at the end of this video though, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully in a year and a half, I'll be comfortable enough to cut my hair. Like, when I smooth down my hair, like the relaxed ends just stay flat. So I can kind of see like how much growth I would have, like how big my teeny weeny afro would be if I decided to be big job. I don't know. I don't like my. I don't think I'd be comfortable with, with that. So tonight I'm putting my hair in small twists and then the ends of the twist, since my hair is relaxed and they tend not to, my ends tend not to stay, I'm gonna straw set them. And yeah, I didn't experience that much breakage this time. I see people doing this all the time, so like, that's it. That's all that came out when I deep conditioned and then shampooed and then conditioned. So I doubt much more else is gonna fall out. So I'm gonna twist up what's left out, let it sit in my hair for 45 minutes to an hour, rinse it out, twist it, and hopefully my hair dries by tonight, because <laughs> I got stuff to do. Alright, thank you for watching YouTube. 
Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Inbox me. Yeah. Bye.